Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our Lunch and Learn. We're trying a new time uh, this Friday to see if this works better for you guys. We really wanna hear from you. Uh, if this is something that's interesting for you, uh, if the five minutes are good enough, or if you'd like a longer um, time with us. Today, I have a familiar face. I have Dana Mitchell, who is our Director of Nutrition Initiatives. And we're gonna be talking about the myths of hunger. Uh, we have a slideshow in our cover story to discuss those specific ones that we are tackling this month. And we're gonna go ahead and dive right in to this um, Facebook Live. So our first Facebook myth, Dana, is that uh, people in, who face hunger in South Carolina are typically homeless. We both know that that's not the case. Um, in fact, 59% of people we serve have been employed for at least 12 months. So we have all these hardworking families. So could you tell us uh, why people uh, face food insecurity, have diets lacking nutrition? Yeah, um, so are you a working person and stressed out? No, we really recognize that our families are working. They are so busy. They're making hard choices every day between what they can and cannot pay for and how they're gonna get their kids to all of the things or how they're gonna get the family members to the hospital or office visits or whatever, and then they have to make food choices. So sometimes it's just that it's hard to make the best choice when you're inundated with all of these choices all day, you're gonna go for your default. So my question for you is what's your default when you're stressed? I love chocolate, dark chocolate. Twizzler pull and peels. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. So, you know, think about that for yourself. What's your default when you are stressed out for food? But then there's also the environments in which our clients are making decisions in. Our grocery stores, our corner stores, don't always have the best choices readily available or even appealing and available. So there's a lot of things to think about when we're talking about the families we serve, the environments they're in, and then the hard choices that they're making every day. Nice. So you have a couple of programs that you help run for our clients. Do you mind talking about Cooking Matters and Cooking Matters Store Tours? Yeah. And how we help them change those environments or make decisions in those environments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our program, Cooking Matters, is an evidence-based program where we're looking at helping empower our clients to, with the knowledge and the skills to make the best choices no matter what the stressors are in their life. And so we really try to bring it down to... Um, the reality of whatever our participants, our community members, individual choices are, um, just by giving them skills that they can use. And so we have grocery store tours where we teach label reading, we teach how to use unit pricing, if you don't know what it is, look it up, um, to make the best choice for their budget while knowing what's actually in their food using that food label. And then we take them through the store and we practice. So we actually go through that stressful environment of a grocery store and help make the, the decisions in that moment um, and challenge them to actually create a $10 meal that has all five food groups in it. Um, and then we take it a step further with our Cooking Matters courses. They're six weeks long, one day a week for two hours where we actually cook food and we try different things and we refine people's cooking skills. So um, we're really hands-on in our learning so that we can practice, not just tell people what to do, but practice what healthy behaviors are so that ideally when they are in those stressful situations we're retraining that default to be the healthier healthier option that's great and especially if you guys want to know some of the things that dana teaches comment below if that's something you're interested in learning those unit prices learning those labels i've learned a lot from dana and her team since just coming here and uh, i can now make a lot of healthy nutritional choices that i maybe was making before. I have- Be careful what you comment, this could go longer than five minutes. <laughs> I have a quote that I wanted to share with everybody, and Dana, she hasn't heard this quote, but I was able to talk to one of your participants and, um, and, <laughs> and ask them how it changed their life. So Olivia told me that this class has opened doors that I never thought were possible to be opened up to me in my current circumstance. Now I am not afraid to cook, shop, and create healthy meals for my family. I have learned how to make healthier choices for my family despite our budget. This is a blessing and I'm thankful for everyone who made this class possible. So you're doing great work. We're doing great work at the Low Country Food Bank. All right, don't cry. <laughs> and and uh, we continue to touch those people day to day. So just know what you're doing is making a huge difference. So it's thanks to those classes that we're able to teach our clients. But then I wanna end with how do you teach our partner agencies to help our clients make those healthy choices 
in other locations that you physically, you and your team cannot reach? Yeah, so our Cooking Matters is working on direct education, working on the skills, but we want to create environments that decrease some of those stressors, making safe, welcoming environments that people feel that they have the dignity of choice, that they feel comfortable going to our pantries and don't feel like they're asking and reaching their hand out for help, but they're able to shop and get what their family needs, um, even at our pantry level. And then we create some educational, we call them nudges, that encourage our participants to rinse the beans um, if they're high in sodium or to use no salt added vegetables to dilute the sodium in a high sodium soup or stew, um, how to cook whole grains. So we nudge them along the way just with environmental educational cues. Um, and then work with our partners to make other services available. So it might be that one of the barriers to getting a job might be your appearance. And one of our pantries actually brought in someone to do haircuts at one of their distributions. And that was just incredible to again, bring back the dignity to our clients so that they can feel confident in going out, getting that job that helps them be able to break that cycle. Um, so the environments in which our, our clients are making decisions in with us is just as important as the environment that they're doing when they're making it with their own budget. Great. Thank you, Dana, for taking some time to talk with all of us. I hope you had a little bit of learning experience during your lunch. We'll definitely go back and review all the comments. We have some great people helping us film this time. So my apologies for the sideways video. It will not happen again. Dana, if people really want to help focus on our nutrition initiatives, how can they help you and your team uh, and the Low Country Food Bank? How can we make uh, more nutritious choices for our clients? Well, my favorite way is for you to volunteer. Olivia, who that quote um, was from, was actually led by our volunteers. So we love sharing those quotes with our volunteers. I hope you're listening. If Olivia was one of your participants, come and volunteer with us. It's wonderful. We teach you how to make those safe environments with um, a, a slew of other volunteers that allow us to do what we do. But if you don't have the time to commit to volunteering, fundraisers where we can select uh, so we can purchase the food and make it available for our clients is a great way we can do so much with your dollars um, and if you want to do a food drive we love 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 when you guys bring us in low sodium fruits and veggies or no salt added whole grains we do love our pr protein uh, shelf stable protein like peanut butter and tuna so food drives are just as helpful for us just focusing on those nutritious choices that we can make available for our clients Great. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for joining us and we hope to see you in a couple weeks.